Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon and good evening for all people in this world. So welcome back to this channel. With me, Akhtar, as the representative of Santri Ibnu Abbas Klaten in joining Persia. What is Persia? Persia is really called as Pesan Ramadan Santri Ibnu Abbas Klaten. First of all, let me say thank and grateful to Allah, the King of the King, the Lord of the Lord, and also creator of this universe. The only one who know when the Armageddon happened. And because of him, we can still alive with a healthy body until now. Not forget to always send salawat and salam to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The most important person in developing Islam religion. And the only one who bring us from the darkness era to the lightness era. At this moment, I want to tell or share to all of you about unity in diversity. Yes, unity in diversity that have same meaning or similar meaning like the sound of Indonesia country, the Bineka Tunggalika. But why we must discuss about this? Because this is the key for many countries in this world are success, such as Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and many others. Why I say that? If we look at Indonesia at, at the past, when they fight the Dutch, especially at the Battle of Surabaya, all the citizens or all the people in Surabaya are unite to fight the Dutch. Although they come from different ethnics. And the result, Indonesia win the battle. We know that we can't disappear diversity. We can only respect and receive it. If we look to all people or all of human in this world, all of them have many difference or each of them have the characteristic such as their eyes, their face, their mouth or their sound when they talk and many others. If we look at type of eyes in this world, they have many colors such as green, blue, brown, black, and many others. Or if we look the style of hair, some people have straight hair, or some people have curly hair, or some people have wavy hair, and etc. If you look at this day, this week, this month, maybe four and five days again, we will meet the righteous man or we call as Ramadan. This man only comes once a year. So we must utilize this chance as best as we can, such as doing good deeds or the Sunnah Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because if we doing good deeds at this man, Allah will double our gift. But if we doing bad deeds in this man, Allah will double our sins too. Although we fasting at this man, we must keep our body from any kind of sick. Or we must keep our body healthy. I will tell you three secrets that make our body always healthy. The first is control emotion, the second control physic, and the last is control diet. Inshallah, if we apply this, Allah will give us health until the end of Ramadan. We must plan the feel or sense of belonging, unity, togetherness, solidity in Ramadan. Example like if we want to do fasting, and the morning before we pray subuh, 
we do some breakfast and uh, usually we call it a sahur at that time we gather with our family we eat together and then we can talk to them maybe to your parents maybe to your brother or your sister or if you want to cancel your fasting you can go to masjid invite your friend meet them talk to them do some communication and jokes while you're waiting the adhan maghrib is announced of course all of people in this world have many difference but this man is one way or the solution that can make all of people in this world especially muslim are united but how we can do some pray sunnah after so pray isha we together do pray tarawih we not go home or buy some snack or go to many place we have to together pray tarawih and after tarawih maybe we can together read holy quran in masjid it will mix our okhwa or our brotherhood stronger example again at the end of ramadan all of muslim must pay zakat we work together we pay together and we share together the zakat to poor people we do that because we are muslim we have to help each other although we have many different there's there are no differ between the rich and the poor people all of them are human all of us are human especially muslim all of us are brothers it's like Allah says in holy quran surah al-hujurat ayat 10 a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahirrahmanirrahim innamal mu'minuna ikhwah fa aslihu bayna akhwaikum attaqullaha la'allakum turhamun from this ayah, we know that Allah commands us to make peace and help each other, although we have many differences. So, I hope all of us always unite and gather until Allah gathers us in the heaven some days. Amin, Ya Rabbal Amin. I take conclusion from what I said before with bilingual language. Indonesia in English. The first conclusion, unity is important. Or persatuan itu penting. The second, we have to respect the difference or diversity. Or kita harus menghargai perbedaan. Third and the last, unity and togetherness make strong ukhuwah. Persatuan dan kebersamaan menciptakan atau membentuk persaudaraan yang kuat. I think it's enough. Thank you for all of your very very nice attention. Akhirul kalam. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.